results in a first and ten with two and a half in the third. And the 25 play action. Durant goes for it all here. End zone and knocked away by Keon Raymond, who comes back to make the play. Well, uh, normally that a great think, great thinking, great mindset to go right after the new guy. Except the new guy's kind of a star in this league. There's Weston Dressler, number two receiver. Out to the field, Keon Raymond goes out there to match up with him. A little stop and go. Raymond's right there, wants the right hand come over the top to make a play on the ball. Big knockdown. Keep in mind, Keon Raymond had that, what should have been interception. We'll see how that plays out as this game progresses. Second and ten, though. Four receivers to the right. Durant gets out of the grasp. Now he goes. Darian Durant slides down to the ten-yard line. Uh, that sprayed foot looked pretty good for number four on that play. But he comes up hobbling a bit. 14-yard run as Darian Durant shows that escapability. Right, a missed opportunity there by Junior Turner to bring him down in the backfield. Durant sacrificing the body a little bit. Knowing he's playing with that sore foot, but he's got to make a play, and he does. They bring in the big boys here. But they go play action again. Durant looking for Neil Hughes, who's making his season debut. The longtime Regina product had a foot injury. Neil Hughes into the sixth game makes his first start for the Rough Riders this season. Yeah, one of the veterans on this team in his 10th CFL season. Been an unsung hero over the years for the Riders. to the one and could get a fresh set of downs but they want to get it to the house Durant goes there looking for Taj Smith but he overthrew him so opportunity missed there for the Rough Rider offense they're going to bring out their kick team and go for the points Taj Smith motions little switch motion with Getzlaff and then he's going to go to the corner route he's got that position with his release on Randall the ball thrown just too far to the outside Chris Milo who has been perfect this season remains that way 14 for 14 how about these kickers tonight 32 for 32 between the two of them this season the riders move closer you can watch your favorite heroes save the world in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., a new series Tuesday this fall on CTV. And speaking of superheroes, is there a bigger super-eating hero than my partner, Dwayne Ford? No, I meant Joey Chestnut, who was here. He's the hot dog champ who was eating fish tacos tonight. And I guess competitive eating is now officially sanctioned as a sport, perhaps even an Olympic sport. I'm not sure. Joey Chestnut was in the house. I think he ate like 150 fish tacos. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's been whisked away to the hospital. We're not sure. Anyway, he's, uh, he ate a lot of tacos tonight. Kevin Glenn again fires a missile to Mo Price. Fourteen yard gain, ten seconds to go. Well, the Calgary Stampeders be happy to see this third quarter come to an end. Somewhat disastrous for them. A huge turn in momentum. Saskatchewan Rough Riders have turned this into a one score ball game. And starting to look very similar to that game a month ago when the Riders scored 22 second half points. Final play, third quarter that the Stamps will be happy to see in their rear view mirror. They'll have the wind in the fourth, but they only have a six point advantage now. It's Wendy's Friday Night Football. Corey Sheets rumbles. Ty Smith catches. And the Rough Riders are right back in it. Yes, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders rally back in the third quarter as they have done all season long. Well, they sure have. The guy who's leading the charge, 
Corey Sheets, the second half guy, as Milt Stiegel called him, 88 yards on the ground for Sheets in the third quarter alone. And suddenly that stats board starts to even out a little bit based on the way it had gone in the first half. And similar scenario to that month ago when Calgary's offense didn't get on the field very much. Same thing is happening in the second half. What does Calgary have to do to maintain their composure now? Well, that, that's the biggest thing is composure, focus. That's been the shift for Saskatchewan was their execution was far better in the third quarter than it had been at any point in the first half of the football game. Second down, eight now for the Stamps. Glenn, there's the rush. Has to sling it out to Markway McDaniel. But again, as they change sides here, the Stampeders with the wind will bring their punt team out on third down. Uh, it's not necessarily going to qualify as a hit on the quarterback or a hurry, but you got the sense that Kevin Glenn was feeling the pressure of that pocket collapsing around him a little bit as he made that throw. Didn't step all the way into it to get it where it needed to be. Busiest guy for the Stampeders in this second half. Something John Huffnagel does not want to hear. Rob Maver, their punter. This is his fourth kick here. Now early in the fourth quarter. Angles it for Jock Sanders. Reverses field. And again, the two best special teams statistically doing a very good job containing those returners tonight so Corey Sheets back to you it's remarkable yards in that third quarter leaves him just four away from the 100 yard mark he already has a CFL record of five straight 100 yard games to start a season never been done before he's on a historic torrid start to the season Charleston Hughes said he wanted to hit him tonight. Says he doesn't like to get hit, Corey. She said, go ahead and hit me if you can catch me. There goes that shuffle and that strut outside to the 30 and Corey Sheets now over a hundred yards again well if you look at Corey Sheets CFL career now into his, his second year and you find the, see the way that he has developed six game segments first six games no hundred yard games next six one next six two and now suddenly six straight to start the 2013 season again unprecedented Averages 130 some, almost 140, and now Darian Durant flips it out. There was a whistle. Are they going to be credited with a sack here? Yes, they will. Freddie Bishop, playing in his first CFL game, was in on that play. Out of Western Michigan, Bishop getting his first start tonight. Kevin Huntley out of the lineup with injury. On Freddie Bishop. Number 95 right on the hash mark. The man who eventually wraps him up. Terrific explosive athlete, little undersized playing defensive tackle. He was an end in college. Calgary keeps coming after Ricky Schmidt for a block. Missed him that time. Now Larry Taylor. Look out now. Taylor, his best return. 16 yarder tonight. Good field position for the Stampeders, nursing a six point lead on Wendy's Friday night football. CFL on TSN is brought to you by GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Talked about players during the layoff, the bye week. We were busy. Chris Getzlaff got married. Keith Sholigan became a daddy for the first time. Trying to bring his newborn a W. They need to play comeback again. Back July 28th after the Hamilton game, Keith returned home to be with his wife Anna and their newborn William Keith Sholigan. Wow, well, you couldn't wipe the smile off his face when we talked to him before no, the game. Absolutely beaming. I think part of the smile, though, is because he says his wife handles all the diapers. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Great young player. Great community guy, Keith Sholigan. Second and six. Glenn with time. Goes for a kill shot down the sideline and trying to one-hand it. Great coverage there by Macho Harris on Mo Price. 
Yep. Macho Harris couldn't have been in any better position on this play. Kevin Glenn takes a shot on the outside. Price matched up. Harris up tight in coverage. And there he is right in the hip pocket from the get-go. Only chance is for Kevin Glenn to lead him a little bit. And Price to try to separate right at the end of that play, but Macho Harris played it perfectly. Third two and out for the Stampeders in this half alone. Our offense sputtering. Maver. High kick with that breeze. Jock Sanders has to make a decision, decides to hang on. Couldn't Wrong go back. Decision. It was a perfect kick. Perfect kick. Corey Sheets has done it again. Century mark. But the Rough Riders still need to find the end zone tonight. 26-20, the score in McMahon. Jock Sanders had a split second to make the decision, right or wrong. But the wrong decision. He knew where he was on the field and understood that there was an opportunity to let that ball bounce into the end zone for a single point, move it out to the 35 and take better field position. Seven-point lead, six-point lead, doesn't matter much for the Saskatchewan. Now a battle of field position, and Durant almost gave up two. Another sack, but that was almost a safety in this play. They may be forced to give up two. Well, that, that's exactly the issue that comes into play with the decision not to take the single point by Jock Sanders. You limit your playbook, but you put yourself in peril of turning that six-point lead into an eight-point lead. Here's one of the biggest plays of the game offensively and defensively. Second and 14 from the goal line. Here come the stamps. Look out, Darian Durant goes down. DeMonte Bolden with the sack and two points. We'll make it 28-20. Big DeMonte Bolden, the former Hamilton Tiger Cat out of the University of Tennessee. Provides a great push up the middle. He's the man on the nose. Quick swim over the arms of Dominic Picard. Straight through to the quarterback, Darian Durant. And again, it's going back to the decision not to give up the single point. To see defensive coordinator Rick Campbell. It's still a one possession game, but now the difference is you're in a situation where you're forced to go for two to tie this thing up. Would have changed the complexion of the decision making considerably. Even if you give up a sack after giving up a single, you're still not giving Calgary good field position. Now you're giving Calgary the ball. You gave them two points. Two points that could come back to haunt the Rough Riders. The good thing, there's still 10, 15 to go here in the floor. But it's also something that at a time in this ball game when Saskatchewan had all the momentum, it gave it back to the Calgary Stampeders. not allow the Stampeders offense to score still have not could be a critical two points ball bounces out one hopper on the far sideline Calgary could even get better field position after this illegal kickoff Saskatchewan by rule first down on the midfield midfield strike well, the special teams that have been so good for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders up to this point With a couple critical errors back to back give the stamps both points and now terrific field position Glenn, a bullet, once again to Nick Lewis. Instant first down. 
Well, and this is using the success that John Cornish has had on the run. Watch the play fake, run fake. Freezes the D-line, freezes the defenders. And the quick strike to Nick Lewis. Those DBs freeze for a second as they think they're going to have to come up and run support. Saskatchewan was controlling everything, and suddenly the Stampeders have seized momentum back. Four-man rush, Glenn again to Nick Lewis. Down to the 25-yard line. Uh, Nick Lewis tells him, keep it coming. to back 15 yarders 30 yards and two plays after the ball position at the midfield strike down to the 25 yard line over the top and there he goes Nick Lewis touchdown Respond. Well, the Calgary Stampeders do what they were unable to do back in week two. Stem the momentum once the Saskatchewan Rough Riders got it going in the second half. Nick Lewis, 55 yards, three catches in this drive. And just think, it all came down to a decision at the goal line by Jock Sanders, and it's changed things completely. Kevin Glenn finds Nick Lewis three straight times. This one a beauty. The Stampeders open up a 15-point lead. Get the lowest prices of the season right now at the GMC Summer Selldown. The lowest prices of the season on the fuel-efficient 2013 Terrain or the lowest prices of the season on the 7-passenger 2013 Acadia.